Good morning. Here is the Sanibel Police Blotter, dated April 11, 2023. On April 5th, an argument at a job site escalated into a suspect cutting the victim with a box cutter. The suspect was taken into custody and transported to the Lee County Jail, where he is charged with aggravated battery. I have mentioned this incident twice before. This is the one that held up traffic on the causeway last Saturday. As of today, he is still sitting in jail. No one has posted his bond. So in Florida, once released on bond, the suspect must stay within the jurisdiction of the court in which they were arrested, meaning they can't leave town. They must notify the bondsman of any residential moves and avoid any additional criminal offenses aside from minor traffic violations. Remember, the suspect was a New York native, so either he has no family who can post bond or no one can find a bondsman willing to cover this bond. Uh, personally, to me, he sounds like a flight risk, so yeah. On April 8th, a traffic stop was initiated on a vehicle for speeding. A records check revealed one of the passengers had an out-of-state felony warrant with full extradition. The passenger was arrested and transported to the Lee County Jail without incident. This fugitive is from Michigan. On April 8th, a traffic stop was initiated on a vehicle for failure to stay in its lane. After further investigation, the driver was arrested for DUI. This is his fourth offense and he was arrested for driving with license revoked. This is his third offense. This suspect is a Fort Myers resident. He was released on the 10th and no cash bond was set. I'm very confused on this one. He was let go after two days in jail and he did not have to pay a bond. This is his fourth DUI. This is a perfect example of why people get killed by drunk drivers because drunk drivers suffer little if no consequences for their actions until they actually kill someone. Around 10,000 people are killed by drunk drivers in the U.S. every year. That is 10,000 deaths a year that are totally preventable. Sorry if I sound a little heated on this one, but this topic drives me insane. Other enforcement actions for the week. On April 8th, a four-foot alligator was removed from a swimming pool and relocated to conservation land. The enforcement operations statistics for the week of April 4th through April 10th. There was one alarm call, business and residential. There was 77 911 non-emergency calls. There was three traffic crashes. There was 40 traffic stops. Within those traffic stops, 10 were, had citations issued and four had written warnings issued. There was zero field interviews. There was 700 residential area checks. There was 367 business area checks. There was 1,442 total area checks. There were zero reported burglaries, two reported thefts, and 1,794 total CAD calls for the week. Thanks for listening.